Good morning, Purple Phonics Group. Well, we have now finished looking at all the digraph sounds in phase three. So today we're going to have a little bit of a recap and we're going to have a look and see how many of them we can remember. So on screen, I have three cards and those cards have got different sounds on. Now we're starting with the single sounds that are in phase three that we did right back at the beginning of term three. So let's see if you can remember them. Have a look at the cards on screen. Which one is Is it yellow? Is it green? Is it orange? Hopefully you're telling me, yes, Mrs. Hodges, it's orange. So there's our sound. What two other sounds have we got here? Do you remember this one? It's j, 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 isn't it? And how about this one? Y, y. Okay, let's move on to some more cards. So this time, where's the v sound? The v sound is on the yellow, isn't it? That's our v sound, our v. What are the other two sounds? Can you remember? This one is z, like a buzzy bee, isn't it? And this one is x. We don't use them very often, but we do still need to know what they are. Okay, let's move on to our digraph sounds. So three sounds on screen. Which one is Yes, hopefully you're telling me it's green. That is our f sound. So what other sounds have we got? We've got qu and ch. Did you get those right? Okay, let's move on again. We're moving fast today, aren't we? Okay, which one is the er uh sound? Which one is er? Uh? Right, so this time you should be pointing to orange. The orange one is the er uh sound. So what other ones have we got? This one is E and this one is N. Well done if you got those two. Right, okay, so this time, which color is the A sound? Which one is A? Tricky this one because all these letters are in all of these different sounds. So did you get blue, green? The green is the A sound. An A and an I makes A. How about these others? What sounds do they make? What's this one? This one is OI, isn't it? And how about this one? This one is R. So sometimes when you see all of them, they can get a little bit confusing. So hopefully you're doing really, really well and remembering which one is which. Okay, how about now? Where's the O sound? Which one is O? Now they all start with the same letter. So again, this is a bit tricky. So here our yellow one is our O sound and O and an A make the O sound, don't they? Can you remember what these two are? This one is OW and this one can be U uh, or O. So it can have a long or a short sound, an U, uh, a short sound or a O uh, long sound, can't it? Okay, let's move on. Last three. So which one is the SH sound? Hopefully you're saying it's green. Yes, that was the sh sound, isn't it? What about the other two? This one is or, and this one is uh. Well done if you got those right. Those that you didn't get right, don't worry. Go back, rewind me, have a look at them again and practice them. Practice writing them down and saying them at the same time. It's just a case of seeing them over and over again and you will learn them. It just takes a little bit of time. Okay, so today we don't have a sound on screen. Today is a little bit different because we're doing a recap day. But I didn't want us to not learn anything new at all. So I thought I'd add onto today's a word that will be very helpful for you this week because this is in your week's spellings. So this is one of our tricky words. And this is a phase three tricky word. And the word is he. He. Can you say that? He. Now, he is tricky because we can't sound it out. We can sound the h sound at the beginning of he, but it doesn't go h e, which is how we would sound it. It goes h e, but we don't have an e sound at the end. We don't have a digraph there. So sometimes there are words, quite a lot of little small words in our English language that don't spell exactly as we'd sound them using our phonics. So we just have to learn them. We have to take a snapshot. We have to file it away in our brain 
and we have to just know it whenever we see it in a book or we're asked to write it. So this one is the word he, and this is the one we're practicing this week in our spellings. So let's take a look at how we write it then first, shall we? So we have a tall letter and a short letter for he. They're both sat on the line and the body of both the letters are the same height. It's just this tall lift at the beginning of the H that makes it look like a taller letter. So let's have a go. Let's see how I can do with the pen today. You ready? So we've got a straight line up and back down. And then we go up and over for our H. Then we start back on the line and we've got a curl for our E. So E, he. Can't send it out because that does not make the E sound that we know. Remember, we know that two E's together make the E sound. But in this small, this small tricky word, he, it's just an H and an E. OK, practice writing that. Practice saying it as you're writing it, because I may have sneaked it in somewhere else as we go along today as well. OK, so let's have a look and see what we are looking at today. So our reading today, we have quite a lot of words on screen today to read. And you will notice that we have an alien on screen with us today, which means we don't know these words. They don't exist. OK, so almost all of these words don't exist today. So you just need to try blending them together and telling me what you can see. OK, they all have their sound buttons underneath. Have a go. Pause me while you're doing that. Come back to me when you're ready and we'll do them together. Right. How did you do? So let's look at the first one. We have three single sounds, quite an easy one. So we've got v, a, x. So let's put it together quickly, va, vax. So that one is vax. Did you get that one? Well done. Okay, let's look at the next one. So we've got j, oi, p. Ooh, so let's put it together, j, oi, joy, p, joy, p. Let's try the next one. So we've got o, t, er. Uh, Let's put it together. Ought, order, order. Okay, let's try this one. So we've got qu, o, hmm. Let's put it together. Qu, o, quom. Do you notice how we're building from the front all the time to hear that word, especially because it's a tricky one that doesn't really exist. So then we've got y, i, n, y, ying, ying. Did you get that one? What? E, f, we, weef. Did you get that one? And this next one, l, ow, m, lau, laum, laum. Did you get that one? How about this one at the bottom? This has got a weird symbol underneath it, hasn't it? We haven't seen this symbol before. Do you recognize this word? We were looking at it a little while ago, weren't we? I just sneaked it in there at the bottom. This is our tricky word for today. What was our tricky word for today? We can't send it out. It was he, wasn't it? So an H and an E make the he word. How did you do with those? They were quite tricky today because they had lots of different sounds in them. So don't worry if you didn't get all of them, especially if it's one of those sounds that you find difficult to remember. Remember, we're just practicing and practicing now to get better and better at our phonics. OK, now on the next page, we have our spellings. Are you ready for your spellings? You know how this works. I'm going to say a word. Pause me, write it down and come back to me when you're done. And let's see if you spelt it correctly. Right. OK, I'm going to start with this word up here. They are real words. As you can see, there's a tick on the screen. And the first word is burn. Try burn for me. Right, let's have a look and see how you did. So, but, uh, hmm, burn. How did you do? Which er uh sound did you put in there? Because remember, we know two er uh sounds now. If you put the e and the r, that's still really well done because you used your phonics correctly. When we've got more than one way to make the same sound, we sometimes just have to try and see if we can decide which one looks best. And in this word, it's the u and the r. OK, let's look at the next one. So the next one is zoo. Can you see I've put the sound buttons here to help you? Zoo. Right, let's have a look at zoo. 
quite an easy one, this one. Z, oo. So our oo uh, uh, sound, zoo. Okay, let's look at this one. Oh, strange sound buttons here, isn't it? This one is he. Can you write he for me? Yes, once again, I've slipped it in there. So he, our tricky word, an H and an E make he, don't they? Okay, our next one is chart. Try chart for me. Right, are you ready? Let's have a look and see. Chart. So we've got ch, r, t, two digraph sounds. How did you do with that one? Right, then we're going on to quail. Quail. Are you ready? Here we go. Qu a, ooh, quail. They're getting tricky now, aren't they? And finally, we've got wish. Wish. Are you ready? Here we go. Wish. Wish. Now, if you got some of those right, very well done. Because remember, we're not just practicing one sound today. We're recapping all our sounds. So this is really, really tricky stuff. And if you're getting these right, I'm very impressed with you. Okay, we have very, very simple tasks today. Two simple tasks. The first one is to write the sentence I'm going to say to you about this picture. Okay, so I'm going to say a sentence and I'd like you to write it down. Are you ready for that? Here we go. The sentence is, he had a fast boat. He had a fast boat. So it's five words and that he word is in there as well. So he had a fast boat. Pause me, write it down, come back to me when you're done, but make sure you write it in proper sentence form. Okay, are you ready? How did you do? Let's see if you remembered all those rules about a sentence. So we've got our tricky word, he, but this time he is written with a capital H. Remember it's written with a capital because it's at the start of the sentence. So he, had, you could sound that one, a, we know a, fast, again, hopefully you sounded fast out, boat, so boat, did you remember the o sound? And obviously our full stop at the end. So if we have a capital letter, finger spaces, a full stop at the end, and some amazing spelling, well done. Okay, the task I'm going to leave you with today is draw a picture. So here we go. Again, I'm not going to read this to you because you know that by now you know all these sounds. So read what it says and draw a picture of what it says. Have fun for the rest of the day and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.